evil takes a human form in Regina George. Come beat them, join them. Get in, loser, we're going shopping. I like invented her. And things always has to be a certain way for her. And when My royal babes, I'm sure you guys have heard of Mean Girls. So who is Regina George? The queen bee. And evil takes a human form in Regina George. The one all the girls want to be and all the guys want. It's shown that Regina George shows traits of narcissism. Sees herself as higher than everybody else in the school. Who are the plastics? They're teen royalty. She makes Katie, the new girl, join the plastics. Because as the new hottie, she saw her as a threat. If you can't beat them, join them. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. She has a lack of empathy. So she's dismissive of other people's feelings. Boo, you whore. Fetch. Gretchen. Stop trying to make fetch happen. It's not going to happen. Like Katie, her friend, her boyfriend, like she was basically cheating on her boyfriend. Even after she got him back, she dumped him and then she got him back because Katie wanted him. But she was still cheating on him. She got back with Aaron, her boyfriend, just to protect her legitimacy as Queen Bee because he, since he's the most popular guy, the hottest senior in the school, if he's, he fits with her, he chose her. That means she's worthy to be chosen. So she also did that so that the new hot girl, Katie, couldn't be with him because Katie had a crush of crush on him. She also wanted to prove that she could get him whenever she wants, which kind of was the case. Gretchen told me that you like Aaron Samuels. I could talk to him for you if you want. Really? He's a very good manipulator. Um, the pregnancy test. Hello, may I please speak to Taylor Waddell? Soon from Planned Parenthood, I have her test results. If you could have her give me a call as soon as she can. Very good at manipulating and she just think things quick on the spot and on your hair looks back. sexy push Katie, back katie tell him his hair looks sexy push back. she's entitled so basically she becomes outraged when things do not go her way Mother. <laughs> when katie became becomes the head of the plastics she was like i made I like her. her and things always has to be a certain way for her on wednesday they have to wear pink and they have to only tie their hair once in a week like there are so many rules that it's just crazy and when she does not adhere to the rules she's like whatever those rules aren't real what according to you they were real that day i wore a vest because that vest was disgusting relationships are superficial her, the relationship with her friends with her boyfriend it's all based on the amount of money they have you their beauty really their popularity so basically she exploits them she for her that? personal she's gain life and we will see why that's the case it's not just because she's this big villain but we will see how your childhood experiences can lead to that and i made another video on this so i'll link it above so that you can gain more insight into it and then insecurity I so because she's so pounds. insecure she uses all these traits this narcissistic traits as a defense mechanism to cover it up so other people do not see it because if other people see that she's insecure and not this god-like person that she has made herself to be then nobody's actually going to worship her so she has a fear of gaining weight because her hot body is what puts her on this pedestal oh God, what are you talking about you're so skinny <sighs> shut up I've got man shoulders and even with that she's not satisfied with her body she also belittles others to make herself look good that girl that was wearing some vintage bracelets or skirt she was being charming and saying that oh that's so pretty whatever whatever but then she turned around and said that is the ugliest effing skirt i've ever seen so when you are at that top high ladder the only place you can go is down because you are at the top anyway so you gain so much insecurity that oh my gosh what if today is the day that i go, i get bring down what if somebody else be is better than me what if i lose this guy to somebody else that is better if i lose him then that means the person is better than me and i'm supposed to be the best it's just it's just so crazy so what causes this kind of narcissistic traits some people may be born with it i don't know if narcissists narcissists are born or they are made but with her we can see that her narcissism was basically made number one plastic surgery and they need to change herself so her mom basically got a boob job and who knows whatever what other job she has done and she seems to be proud of it make sure you check out her mom's boob job their heart is rock welcome to our home and the plastic surgery is seen as like some higher up thing seems like she has to do it to be the top of the ladder and regina may have internalized these values which contributes to her being so focused on her physical appearance modeling so modeling is um a behavior in psychology where you emulate the traits of the of your guardian or your parents the person that you grew up seeing so regina may have modeled manipulative behavior from her mother that her father is ashamed of her so at first right i thought that she didn't have a dad because we never really saw him but then we later saw in the halloween scene when she was basically wearing underwear and 
ears also how much the father was crying that means the father has been demasculated he's not the head of the house anymore he doesn't have a say so all he can do is cry <laughs> this is your room it was my parents room but i made them trade me so that shows that the mother may have used manipulation in the whole household to get her away and yeah. so regina Mom, also copies it gretchen even hair. said in one of the scenes okay. that regina's mom and dad do not even sleep in the same bed it's kind of apparent that she did not receive emotional support from her parents because her father is basically checked out her mom is so focused on herself that she doesn't give time to her children or she she just lets her children do whatever they want and because of this she may have sought external validation from her popularity in school because her mom is not that interested in her so she will seek that interest from other people and when she seeks it it kind of makes up from what she's lacking that's why we see her in so many scenes that she's always angry like you are this queen bee you are this top of the of the like, class or whatever even though she seems to be always like sometimes fake smiling especially when she's this with Katie. So when her inner self actually comes out you see that she's very miserable and very angry deep inside so we see from her little sister that there's literally no moral code in the house like the little sister was just raising up her shirt copying some girls in the bikini in bikinis and the girl is like seven to ten you guys need anything some snacks a condom let me know oh god love you Regina inherited social status and riches from her parents. So because she's rich, she feels a sense of entitlement and security really nice. over all know, these right? kids, That she's better than them. Like in one of the scenes, right, Katie cut off her top to basically embarrass her when she was trying to bring her down. But she was like, mm, okay. And then it became a new fashion trend. So even though she created her own fashion trend and she didn't care anymore because she knows whatever goes, goes. Before she has to get to that place, she has to conform to their beauty standards already there. So when she conforms to those beauty standards, then people will be like, oh yeah, she's the top dog. And when she conforms, then maybe she can create her own. Regina George is flawless. I hear her hair is insured for $10,000. And that pressure to meet a certain beauty standards, like keeping her weight and making sure she doesn't have pimples or the man shoulders or whatever, may put so much pressure on her that every day is like a hassle to get to that place. I've spoken a lot about my experience when I was in junior high school, about how I was bullied and the rest. But girls always been pretty. <laughs> so not to toot my horn, I'm just using this as like a case study. So when I became like around 18 in my sixth form, so I was basically one of the most popular girls, if not the most popular of my beauty and so because of that i always felt pressure to always look my best in school even though the attention sometimes was so annoying like you have people just staring at you and cat calling and those kind of things sometimes it was annoying but when you don't have it to you're like oh um, did something go wrong do i look ugly today it's, it's it was just too crazy and i didn't want to be seen as dumb because of my beauty it would overshadow my brain so i had to also make sure that i was working harder to be even not the top, one of the top three in the class because otherwise my beauty is going to overshadow it and people will just know me for my beauty. So yeah, I had that pressure to always make it um, like step up and do better, do better, look better. And yeah, it was not easy. It, it really wasn't until I, I, I saw that who cares? Like who really cares? Like one day I just went to school, just not looking anyhow but without makeup because I had a lot of acne too. So I had to always make sure to be covering it up and it was so draining. So one day I just did not cover up the acne. I just went to school and it was fine. The same with Regina. Even though she has set her own standards, it's hard for her to even keep it up. Like even many celebrities struggle with that. So because her parents did not set boundaries, her father is just whatever and her mom is just focused on her own self. She has no boundaries. Whatever negative behavior she may impose, it's okay. That's why she's able to even manipulate the teacher about KD writing the band book because I found it there's in not the going to be any bathroom. consequences. High school is one of the most difficult times of anybody's life. It might be one of the difficult times in your life, my life too, because it's the time that you're trying to get in terms of who you are you don't know who you actually are there's so many changes in your body Not your body is growing you're getting all these changes so you're trying to fit in with people you're trying to find your clique because you really don't know who you are yet and it's like getting in the right clique defines who you are so sometimes it's like it's a life and death situation because high school becomes your whole life at that point in time you want to like yourself you want to be liked at home you want to be liked by the opposite sex you want to be liked by your friends by everybody then you start to become self-conscious you are trying to meet Everybody the beauty standards whether i should be sexual or i should be a virgin if you don't sleep around you're a virgin if you do you're a slut Boo, you whore. 
So it's a very confusing time of anybody's life. We have this whole female empowerment thing. Like when I was in school, right? It was not that bad. Like there was no TikToks, Instagrams. Even if there were, it was not... I mean, actual school, like when I was 13, 14, those years in my teenagers, lower teenage. So it wasn't that bad. But now as teenagers, that's why there are so many teenagers now that you you will think they are 18. And I've made a video about it. You are just 18. You are just 16. You are not grown yet. Stop trying so hard to grow so much. And all this over-sexualized behavior in all these younger ones, like the Alabama Bakas and Jody Woods. They catch me outside. How about that girl? Trust me, as you grow, you become more self-assured. You start to know your body more. And you start to see that your body is a gift. I have made a, vi a video on my my skinny shaming and weight gain and the rest. It's really hard for me to gain weight. Yeah, sometimes, right? I'm trying to accept myself. And now I'm 25, so I'm not in that place where I don't love myself and the rest anymore. But sometimes it's so hard, especially when I lose a lot of weight. I'm like, oh, I don't like this. It's such a negative way of thinking. And how long, if, if you're going to be like this your whole life, are you going to think like that your whole life? Whatever you think, it's not, that's not hold up to the beauty standards. Make that become your own beauty standards because you may be the ripest peach of the bunch, but there may still be somebody who does not like peaches. Some people may not like you for whatever reason, and that is fine, especially in this generation. You are trying to seek love, you're trying to seek validation. And it's so hard. They're trying to seek it from your peers. If one day they are validating you, they think yeah. that guy or you are that girl, and then the other day they are not, then what is your self worth going to go down? Your self esteem going to go up and down based on what they think? Who cares what they think? You should find that love and that validation in only God, God alone. And I made a video about this. Like now that you're in high school, right? I know it's hard for you to fit in and the rest, but try to find people who align with your beliefs people who have the same mindset like you don't need to have all these crowd of people all fancying you or being your fans or whatever because they may like you to your face but behind your backs you know what they think about you so even if it's just one person try to find the love and validation in god and somebody who also aligns in the same beliefs somebody who loves god and even if it's hard to find in school because nowadays what they teach in school about evolution and the rest so many people are like who is god whatever whatever your church community is there for a reason like you may not see that community in school but at least in church you know that there are people that know about god and want to follow god's ways so you you don't have to be a loner or just feel like you are in this world all alone and if your friends don't know tell them about god you don't need to be insulting or anything but just tell them answer it to your best of your ability and then in that way you're also sowing seeds for people to be saved like i said again that love and validation you can only find it in god enough friends or fam even family because your family may turn your, their backs on you but god says you are wonderfully he made you wonderfully he made you fearfully and that you are unique you're a masterpiece and then he died for you because he does not want even one single person to not be saved, to go away from him. He wants to save each and every one of us because we are all precious to him. Even the most little person is precious to him. So do not put yourself down. Our, our bodies are so precious, but we don't see how precious it is until it's too late, until you don't have it anymore, until you lose a limb, until you cannot talk, until something happens with your eyes. And that's when you, you see that oh, my body was really precious. So don't wait until it's too late for you to see how precious you are and how privileged to, uh, you are that you have eyes that work a mouth that you can eat all these delicious meals and knows that you can breathe in the fresh air god has given us you can smell ple pleasant smells hands that you can touch you can hold other people you can do things you can walk with your legs don't let it to be too late until you find out oh these were really precious like I made a video on Didi and Cassie. Like you can climb higher and higher, higher up the ladder. You can sell your soul to the devil. You can do whatever. But then you still will not feel satisfied. Because what you are seeking, that love that you are seeking is actually the unconditional love of God. And no human being can ever give it to you. That is what Regina needs. So these are some biblical traits. That when Regina comes to know God and she's saved, she would exude it naturally. So humanity, learning to appreciate and respect others. And in that way, those narcissistic tendencies will also go with the help of therapy, of course. Recognizing that true strength does not come from belittling other people or seeing their flaws or whatever. And then love and kindness, learning to love one another as you as you love yourself forgiveness forgiving her mom or whosoever had wronged her like janice or whatever the ending scene we saw that she she had a new um, bunch of friends and she was 
channeling that negative energy into sports so finding a community of like-minded believers would help her to get to know more about god and know that she's not all alone and as she can learn to foster positive relationships and not just relationships built on a benefit from other people or exploiting other people authenticity so she can see that she's wonderfully made and she does not have to hold on to societal standards self-control cheating on her boyfriend with that guy i don't know why she kept sleeping around with him but the bible a fruit of the spirit is self-control being able to hold your self-control when you want to even say something negative when you want to be angry at somebody when you want to you, you want you are falling into temptation or sexual immorality holding rule basically treating others as you want to be treated if you are in christ you are a new creation all things have passed away and everything has been made new regina can be made a new person even though we saw in the ending scene that she's a new person we can still see that she had rage and even though she channeled it into sports how long is that going to keep so that rage needs to be removed completely and who else can take away that rage and that anger and that miserableness that she has in her heart only jesus can what they were lacking was the true love of god seeking unconditional love and do you want to find that easy all you have to do is click the link below for a free ebook it's all yours and learn the unconditional love of god make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video for god so loved you that he gave his only son so you and i will believe in him and not perish but have everlasting life